now guys it's my turn to show y'all what I got now basically back here you got all my rods and hooks Cameron didn't show y'all all of his stuff because he's got way too much stuff I started I fish, getting into fishing about a year ago so I got all this stuff but really there's another box in my bag but it has nothing in it as well as that box up there but it's a small box so I'm not going to go over it really that's just nothing box I, I'll put stuff in there eventually when I start running out of room I'm going to start with my littlest rods to my biggest rods so this rod is the rod that started it all got me, my brim set up kind of you know brim hook and bobber this is a brim rod it's a shakespeare combo this was the first ever spinning reel ever well every rod and reel i ever got except i did have a toy story one, but that was that was when i was like three this is the one that actually started it all. I got this when I was about five. Then we got this one, which I just got a rooster tail on there. It ain't really big. I might change this to my, like, finesse fishing, if y'all know what that is. Don't know if y'all know what that is or not. But that's if when nothing else works. And literally, it's the actual thing. But this is, I don't even know what rod this is, but it's a combo. that It's a South, brand, uh, South Bend. South Bend combo uh my friend gave it to me uh back about a year ago now we're gonna move on to this rod which this rod had an ozark trail reel on it uh but i don't it's a berkeley rod it had an ozark trail reel on it uh, it broke well it didn't break but i lost one of the gears so i just bought me a whole new reel because i rather have a new like a loose reel than a ozark trail i did buy this reel with my money don't you dare say this is days but even though I mean, it ain't that expensive, but, I mean, come on now. It's a Luz Max Mash Reel. This rod is pretty long. Broke the tip off of it right there, oh, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It still works. And then we got the another reel that I got for $9. It's got a topwater frog on it right there. The camera God, I customized. Yep. And this is a Guggen Squad uh, rod and reel combo. That I got for nine dollars at Walmart when it was supposed to be sixty. Um, next we got. He did. Next we got this, which has a dummy bait on it, right here. Which because I told my dad how to use bait caster earlier today, but this is a. Let's see here. I don't even really know. It's a Pro Caster eighty. Uh, rod. What's a Daiwa rod? But. Daiwa. Yeah. Uh, it's a dial rod with a loose uh, American, American Hero baitcaster reel. It, I had the American Hero combo, but I kind of broke the rod to pieces. Well, I didn't break it. Someone else broke it, but still. And I bought this rod from my friend for $45, which ain't bad at all. And I got the combo for like 90 or 80 The next is the one that I got most recent that I used in the last video, which got a chatterbait on it right now uh, with a Raid Swimmer trailer is a max smash it has a rod sock on it the line did turn green because i went fishing today i was not able to video it though but i went fishing today and the pond turned my real green not real but my line green let say that's red jacob no that's green <laughs> all right but now we're going to move on to the tackle that's all my rod and reel my mom has a rod and reel which is a closed face but we ain't gonna show that since it's my mom it's not mine so we got the spider wire bag right here. It's great. I love it. I got it for free from my brother-in-law. We're going to start with the spools of line. All right. I got some 10-pound, pretty, pretty new. Got some 10-pound, pretty old, which is what I'll use next. But I kind of lost it first. And I was, yeah, so I bought a new roll. Uh, throw that over there. Then we got what I have on my new bait caster, 12-pound fluorescent. <laughs> Fluorescent. Sorry, I didn't. I said that wrong. Fluorescent. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just saying it weird now. But, fluorescent. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, clear slash blue. It's pretty nice. 12 pounds. Then we got the Rage Swimmers that are like kind of this weird looking like gray kind of like gel color. Um, one side and then white on the other. It is a Rage Swimmer. I use them for trailers. I did use that as a texture rig today. And then we got the Guggen that we're going to, well, let's start off with this box. This box is full of hooks. One of the hooks is falling out, but it's okay. I'll fix it later. Um, but it's just full of little hooks. Oh, then 
put down the camera a little bit. Then we got the Bandito Bug. This one is kind of a, a black kind of with a blue sparkle. Then we got this one, which is green with red sparkle. This back has actually never been open. Traditional. And then I got the Alabama Crawl. I've only used one out there, and it's on one of my jigs that I will show you all later. And then we got some Zoom. I think right there, that's watermelon red right there, with, which is a watermelon color with red sparkle. And it's kind of a swim. It's made in the U.S., by the way, like... You got to not get the ones made in China. Like, come on now. Then you got some yum, which there's two different colors. Them are white. They kind of turn pink. But it's okay. Then there's uh, white ones in here with uh, black on top as well. Then you got some more Cinco's that are like kind of a dark, like a brown kind of with green sparkle. There's only three in there really. So... Then you got some more hooks right here. These are small hooks. I found them. Don't know really where. I just found them laying in my bag. They're very small hooks. They're like brim hooks. Then you got these. Oh, I thought you were. Nope. Power <laughs> bait. There's only two in here. I gave you that and the bag's roof, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, I not even used one out of here yet. Uh, I, I probably it. will eventually just as, just they see, when I they get see bored. power bait's toxic for the fish. That's why I empty box, it. empty box. Just throw it over there. Yep. Now this is my hard bait uh box. There is hooks in here, as well as bobbers. There's these kind of bobbers, and one of those. But then you got all sorts of hooks in there. There's just two different kinds of hooks in there. Then you got a small little crankbait where I caught two fish off today. And a turtle. No. Yeah. Not today. Before, before, yeah. And then this is a. H2O, it's kind of scratched up now. It's kind of scratched up though. I used it today, caught one fish off of it. Uh, it's a rattle trap. I lost what I was gonna say. I got a rooster tail with a spoon. That's kind of contangled right now. But it's a white rooster tail with a nice looking spoon. Now I even used a spoon before. This is another crankbait that's yellow. Only has one eye. That I give you. Don't know, yeah. I don't know where the other eye went. Oh, it's in my bag. You got a whole bunch of these, except not all of them have hook, hooks. Only this one does, I'm pretty sure. They're my minnows. And then you got a whole bunch of deep. What just happened? I, I pulled that out with that hook. You got uh, a whole bunch of these. That's what used to rig the my minnows. I'll up. just drop that. Take that up. These guys, <laughs> I kind of dropped something. Nope, I dropped my bottle cap tab. Where'd it go? Okay, there it is. Okay. I got all it. Right. Here you go. I kind of dropped my bottle cap tab. Hold on, guys, technical difficulties. All right, then we got this. I don't really know why that's a trailer right now. I just put it on there because I felt like it might Ain't work. that a power bait? Uh, kind of, yeah, I guess, but I already had them in my thing. Uh, yeah, I, I remember you had a bag. Then in. here's a white spinner. Yeah. I like them. And then I, time for the jigs. This is the jig that has the Alabama crawl on it. I have the same jig. It's a Guggen. Uh, uh, it's a Guggen. The same jig. Juicy jig. It's bluegill color. And it's uh then there's an Alabama crawl on the back of it. And then I got another one that does not have a trailer on it that I believe, yeah. It's Guggen as well. It's a thick jig, I'm pretty sure. Have the same one. And it's black and blue. <laughs> we got the same jigs. Which was not planned by the way. Both the, well, one of them was given to me. The black and blue one was. And this is soft plastics. I got two soft plastic things. There's some lizards with green sparkle in there with purple. Then there's these octopus things, which we use actually sometimes to catch some bluegill off of. It's like the fish at this one pond that just eat it. Then I don't really know what that is, but it's weird looking. It's okay. Never mind them. Lizard with yellow feet and yellow brown. Feet. And black sparkle, kind of, what well, it's not even sparkle, it's just dots. Then flukes, I'm pretty sure that is, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was, but I wasn't for sure. How you pointing at the jigs? I'm like, Then you got these. I got a whole bunch of those right there. Then you got all these different, there's some gr clear green ones, like, in there. Then you got some of these, don't really know. Curly tails. Yeah, they're weird. And then I got these. Oh, those are best pro tournament edition that my things. dad used to do tournaments and then 
I got a whole bunch of those that I have filled up that section. Yeah, my dad, I gave him a bunch because my dad, I had a bunch because my dad used then to Then you got some of these, which are green with red sparkle. Some more flukes, I'm pretty sure that is. Mm. And then you got one of those, which I actually got two. One of them's on my other rod. Then you got some of these. These are yum. And then there's like one of those. I don't even know really what that is. That's like all sorts of different stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Even though it's one bait. But then you got, I already showed them that. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Then you got these. Mm -hmm. And then there's the crawdads, the same exact color. I don't even know what those color is at that point. Because like, it's just, it's just weird, alright? It's just a weird color. What? Go down through here where I can keep up. All right, next you got these, which, well, th these are all my broken baits right there. What is that? What is what? Oh, it melted. Yeah, it kind of melted. It's okay, though. Got it. <laughs> then you got, there's two different. They melted. All right. No, they didn't. They're just stuck together, aren't they? Yep. You got two different colors of those. There's blue on one side and green. The other ones are just green in there. Then you got a crawl down that's kind of broke as well, I think. Then you got some, I forgot, my bad. But you got some pink worms. Right here. Pink, pink worms. Some of them have the tails on them. That one doesn't because it's kind of broke. You got a baba. I don't really know why a bobber's in there. Whatever these are, I don't even know what those are. Okay, so these are called, like, uh, grubs. Yeah. They're grubs. Then you got another yellow bobber. Lime. Another fluke. Yeah. Some kind of small, small swim bait, uh, bait as well as you those. got some of those. Then you got more of these. You got some of these, which there's different colors in there, as y'all can see. Then you got these. That, yeah, kind of. Two, ain't it? Yeah, with a yellow tail. And then, well, oh. no, it's just a worm. Oh, curly tail. But what did you try to rig it up with? Texas rig. Kind of. I don't I don't really know. Don't ask me. <laughs> that I did that like two years ago. But it's okay. And then you got all sorts of other stuff in there. I don't really know what's all in there. A lot of stuff. Same goes these, which I already showed y'all. And then there's this, which was a some kind of weird hookup thing. Oh, here's the tail that I was talking about on the other one. No. Like, it's literally the tail. Okay. Oh, we didn't go with the grubs. There's, yeah, no, we did. Up there. Oh, okay. Well, well there's just grubs right there. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't really no big deal. And then, this I have, I did put some weird looking stuff in here. But I have split, I have that. Which, that, I, I just use for practice. Yeah, I just use for practice most of the time. Got split shot, bullet weights, all sorts of bobbers in here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Then you got whatever this is. I just put that in there. Oh, I gave that to you. Yeah, I don't know. Really had no idea. I had no idea either. And then a swim bait. I gave you. Then you got one of these, which you did not give me. Then you got one of those. Which I did not give you. Yeah, me. which <laughs> I don't really know. They got split shots. I don't mm -hmm. really know what that is. And that's about it, guys. For yep. I, I'm very confusing when I go over baits because half the time I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm All sorry, right. I'm not a very... I know what I'm talking about when they're in packaging, but I do not know what I'm talking about when they're in boxes because that was a year ago that I unboxed them. And now, that's probably going to wrap up the video. Guys, this video will be posted tonight, probably. Uh, we were meant to post a video Friday, but it did not happen because the camera guy was sick. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, Saturday, I did not, was not even able to go outside because I left. And today, we're posting this video at dark. That's why the light's on, basically. But, um, we're, it's at, it's dark, all right? We're going to do it earlier, but I just got home, like, maybe an hour ago. Not even. But that's about it for this video because we're going to wrap this thing up. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.